Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we're going to visualize fraction division. And so what we're going to do, much like we did for multiplication, is we'll talk about what the concept of fraction division is. We'll draw a lot of pictures, hopefully give you a good feeling for what it represents and what it means to divide one fraction by another fraction. Uh, and then after we have the basic idea nailed down here, then in the next couple of sections I'll show you using the math, how do we actually divide fraction by another fraction or to divide a mixed number by a fraction and so on. So we'll be going through the mathematical steps you know, in the next section, but here we're just going to be drawing pictures and trying to understand what it means to divide fractions. So the best way I can kind of illustrate it is to go through a sequence of pictures and show you uh, by example. Um, so let's do something a little simpler than dividing a fraction by another fraction to start. Let's say we have the number 4 and we're dividing that by the fraction 1 half. Now you all know the basic concept of what division is by now. I mean, You know when you take 10 and divide by 2 or if you take 8 and divide by 4 or whatever, what you're trying to do is you're trying to see how many times does that second number fit into the first number without you know going over or whatever. How many times can it neatly fit inside there? So for instance, if you have 6 and you're dividing by 3, how many times can 3 go into 6 uh, to fill the whole thing up? And so we know that that's 2 times because 2 times 3 is 6. So multiplication and division are very closely related. So the same thing happens when you're dividing something by a fraction. So don't lose sight of that, that concept. All we're trying to do is figure out how many times can the number 1 half fit inside of the number 4. Now it's a little bit harder to draw that situation, but I do think I have a pretty good way. So we're starting with the number 4. So let me draw 4 pizzas, for instance. So there's 1, there's 2, um, and I'll just draw the other 2 down here. There's 3, and there's 4. So we have 4 pizzas because we're starting with the number 4. And we're trying to see how many times will the number, 1 half, fit inside of what we have to begin with here. So if you could use your imagination here and say, well, since we're trying to divide by a half, let me cut this pizza in half, cut this pizza in half, cut this pizza in half, and cut this pizza in half. And now that I've drawn that on the board, let me ask you a question. How many one-halves will fit inside of the number four? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight halves. So the answer to this is eight. 4 divided by a half is 8 because you have 8 1 half slices that are going to fit inside of this number 4. What we've drawn on the board here is a very powerful concept. A lot of times students look at fraction division and get really frustrated and confused because you know they understand dividing numbers but when you're dividing by fractions it becomes a different animal. But really it's not. It's the same thing. You just have to get comfortable thinking about what it means to divide a number by a fraction. So in this case, we're just trying to cut these things up and see how many times one half will fit inside. All right, so let's take another example. What if we have the number three and we're dividing it by one half? So a very similar type of example. So let me draw three pizzas. Here's one, here's two, here's three. We're drawing three because we start with the number three and we're dividing it by a half. So how many times will one half fit into there. So we divide these pizzas up and we see there's one, two, three, four, five, six. It will fit inside six times. So three divided by a half is six. All right, and you can do this with several different kinds of problems and kind of get a really good feeling for how it works. Now dividing by a half is pretty easy because we all know what one half of something is. 